to another My Damn Toys video. Today, ladies and gentlemen, we have a great video for you guys. A lot of you guys actually recommended this style video for you. We have sort of like a, not a top five. I have some top fives, maybe some top tens coming soon to the channel. But today, it's not really a top five. It's just kind of naming off some things that came to my brain. I had a bunch of people saying they wanted to see, you know how we, we covered the overrated figures, right? I gave you a handful of overrated WWE action figures. We dove into my reasoning for it. Kind of broke it all down. You guys seem to enjoy that. So today we're going to go to the other side of that and give you some underrated figures, some figures that may not get the love that they desire or the love that they may deserve in the community, man. I've seen some figures go around. This is a good list, I think. I like my list that I got right here. I didn't name every single underrated figure because I figure we could probably get into a really good series on the channel possibly of listing out underrated figures, but I tried to keep some figures in mind that not a lot of people think about or they take for granted. Like they kind of look at it and they're like, yeah, but they don't really truly give it the love that it deserves. So we're going to dive into all those things, man, break it all down, and I'm going to give you my list of these underrated WWE action figures. And if I don't name your favorite underrated figure, or maybe I don't bring an underrated figure to light that you guys think is, you know, in fact, deserves to be on this list, please let me know down in the comment section below. I'd love it to discuss it with you. But let's go ahead and dive into my list, man. Starting out with the first figure, and that is going to be Elite Series 19 Dolph Ziggler. This is a super underrated figure. I'm about to break it all down for you, but uh, I, I mean, to be honest with you, every single shorts Ziggler should probably go right here. All the shorts Zigglers are fire. Like, I think that the, the Elite 70 gets the praise it deserves. I feel like a lot of people had that as one of their favorite figures of the year, especially the Chase variant version. Absolute unit of a figure, right? We need an updated one, by the way. We need a new Dolph Ziggler. Been about uh, 22 series just about now since we got that figure, so I think it's, which makes me sick. That makes me sick to my stomach that it's been that long, but Elite 19 Ziggler, man. Great looking entrance hoodie with the show off logo on the back. It had the freaking pink shirt that wrapped around his waist, because you guys know he used to come out with his shirt tied around his waist. You could like clip that onto the figure as it was like tucked into his pants. Epic looking attire. I love the pink gear. It's got show off on it. The arms are jacked, yes, but he's on ball joints. He's got a great looking formula outside of the massive AF arms that you could easily switch with a basic. And the head sculpt's not my favorite head sculpt, but it's not a bad head sculpt, right? It's not a bad head sculpt and it's easily swappable. Dolph Ziggler figures are incredible, especially the Elite 19, and uh, you can probably put some other ones on there, but Elite 19 Dolph Ziggler was the first figure I thought of. If you guys enjoy Dolph Ziggler and you and you want kind of a flashback, and I think the Elite 70 actually goes for a lot of money, so maybe you just want to pick up the Elite 19 for a placeholder, that is an excellent choice. Next up on the list, guys, I'm going with Elite Series 35 Luke Harper. I don't know how much this goes for nowadays, RIP to the legend, but but this figure is incredible. I will use this in my Fed for a very long time. I'll probably use this figure over the new AEW Brody Lee. Of course, depending on a few different things, you know, uh, if the AEW figure is just that more superior, then I'm just going to have to sleep on it and, you know, retire the Elite 35 Luke Harper, put it, put it up on the shelf in all its glory and just, you know, uh, just bask in its glory all the times of the day. But this figure is incredible. Great articulation. It looks great without the shirt. Like, I know it has the ugly shirt on it. I recommend cutting cutting that thing off, putting on a either custom shirt or, or a freaking inside out WWE shirt that's black or something, man. Get creative with it. There's eBay sellers that sell, uh, you know, like action figure clothing. You can put like a freaking tank top, put a black tank top on it, put a white tank top on it, put anything you want on it. Figure looks sick and it has chest hair. It's a, like, I know like it has the, the weird kind of looking head sculpt. It's not a bad head sculpt, but if you put the Elite 66 Luke Harper head sculpt on there, it looks incredible. What a beauty looking figure. It's it's just underrated, man. It, it poses so well. It feels amazing in the hands. It's got some heft to it. It's a really strong figure. I think you guys will enjoy it. Now, this is one that you probably have never thought about, and I am not a fan of the guy whatsoever, and I hate that he recently lost his job, but his figure is really, really good. His elite figure specifically. That is Drake Maverick, okay? This is basically a Rey Mysterio hybrid. It's just like a Rey Mysterio, except it has, you know, the Drake Maverick uh, head sculpt. It has Drake Maverick, obviously. Obviously, they don't look the same same, right? So it is a little bit different, but it is a Rey Mysterio with a Drake Maverick makeover, man. It's fantastic. The only thing I don't like is the hand size. Hands are massive. Hands are absolutely gigantic. He's got all kinds of big hands, but if you put women's hands in there, it fixes it. I think I put like Mandy Rose extra hands in there, and it looks incredible. I think we did it on surgery or something, but what a great looking figure, man. Just one of the most one of the most underrated figures that you could probably buy. I don't even know how much it goes for nowadays, but it is, it is excellent, and I don't like Drake Maverick. I don't know what you could use it for. 
before, but holy crap, my tassels are tucked into my shirt that's over this hoodie, and I don't like it. There, that's way cooler. What are you doing, Brad? Repping the classic chain gang shirt. If you know, you know. The next figure on the list, guys, is going to be every single Randy Orton that they've ever released. Yes, every single Randy Orton. Randy Orton is, is so underrated. Like, I'm not gonna count the brand new one, I guess. I'm not gonna count the brand new Randy Orton, because I think it gets the praise it deserves. It's the white gear, double jointed arms, great head sculpt, great everything. Everybody adores that figure, as they rightfully should. It is a absolute unit of a figure, just like Dolph Ziggler. But every Randy Orton Elite, man, all of them, like, these figures are slept on. People take Randy Orton figures for granted, except for the brand new one. Randy Orton figures are slept on, bro. Like, everybody's just like, yeah, it's just trunks. Yeah, it's just trunks. Yeah, trunks. But these head sculpts are very good. They're very solid head sculpts, especially for the time early on Mattel days. Also, the trunks, they differentiate, man. You can get freaking Power Rangers unit. You got all the, you got blue, red, yellow, green. It looks sick AF. And these figures are slept on. Now, I will say an, uh, an overrated terrible figure is that WrestleMania 34 Orton, which is god-awful. Hate that figure with a passion. However... Randy Orton figures are fire, and they're underrated. Next up on my list, man, I don't know. I felt like this was kind of a, kind of a, you know, like a little bonus one right here, but I went with the Elite 64 Usos. I feel like we take these figures for granted. We're just kind of like, yeah, Usos again, got the joggers, all right. But, dude, these are good figures, really good figures. I know Jimmy's yelling, but the head sculpts are solid. Really good torso formula, great-looking tattoos. You get the joggers in there in the bloodline red. I mean, dude, what sick figures, man. And also, Jay comes with that sick-ass jacket, or maybe I think it was Jimmy came with a sick-ass jacket. You buy two of the Jimmys, you put the Jimmy jacket on the J, and then you got a Jimmy jacket jean job. All kinds of you just two Jimmy jackets? Bro, how elite is that? The Usos are great figures. They pose really well. Really great articulation. They look just like the Usos. Oh my god, underrated, man. And there's one more figure that I have to cover in this video, man. It's it's probably the most underrated figure that uh, Mattel's ever made, probably. It's probably, I had to include it in video number one any longtime members of the channel probably can already name what figure I'm about to say, and that will be Ultimate Edition Series Number 1, Ronda Rousey. I see people make this their least favorite Ultimate Edition all the time. I see people talk about how it was a waste. I see people talking about how it was trash, how it doesn't look like Ronda. This sucks. It's Ronda. The garbage, garbage Ronda. This figure kicks all the ass. It feels so good in the hand. It poses extremely well. Uh, just double-jointed arms, double jointed knees, a uh, great looking figure, great looking attire, great looking head sculpts on it. It has the jacket interchangeability, which I'm not that big of a fan of. However, it was the first Ultimate Edition. It was fantastic, or it was the, I probably number two, I guess, I guess you could say Ultimate Warrior was number one, then Ronda was number two, even though they came in the same set. But dude, what a fantastic figure. One of my favorite, probably my favorite women's figure they've ever made. It's definitely up there. I like the Elite 85 Lynch. I like the Elite 72 Lynch. I like the new Bianca Belair we're about to get is really good. Some of the Alexa Blisses are really good. The Carmella Elite 86 is really good. There's some really good female figures, but I think Ultimate Edition Ronda Rousey is probably my favorite. It just, it's just amazing, man. It's so good. Also, I loved Ronda's run. I thought she was fantastic after initially not wanting her to come over to WWE. Now I want her to return every single day. So, the Ultimate Edition Ronda Rousey, if you don't buy any other figure on this list, Ultimate Edition Ronda Rousey should be in your collection, man. First of all, you want to complete that Ultimate Edition collection, and second of all, the figure will literally wake you up in the middle of the night and come and kick your ass. That's how great that figure is. It's just that badass of a figure and it's fantastic. But that wraps up my list of underrated WWE action figures from Mattel, man. Let me know down in the comment section below what you guys feel. What do you think of my list? Do you have your own underrated figures out there? I'm sure I could have like sat here all day naming off some underrated figures but you guys know I love stats. I love statistics. I love rankings. I, I love to get on here and give my opinion about the figures and all those different things and hopefully you guys enjoy these videos where we just sit down and chat a little bit and I give you my opinions on things. If you don't, let me know. If you do, let me know. But thank you guys so very much for watching the video. I hope you guys did enjoy it. Let me know your thoughts down below. Comment some underrated figures. Maybe I can go grab them for myself. But thank you guys for watching. Subscribe to the channel. Follow me on Instagram, Twitter, and TikTok at MyDamnToys. And I will see you guys in the next video. Don't cross the line like uh, you did for not owning the Ultimate Edition Ronda Rousey. You cross